Nightlife in Shenyang is not what it used to be. The city was once a powerhouse of the SOE-driven Rust Belt. Now, it's being stripped down. Jiang Feng used to be a frequent visitor to this bathhouse. Gone are the glory days. He's on the other side of the table. I never expected to be laid off one day. There were so many people who lost their jobs, just like me. I would have become a manager if the company was still running well. They didn't give a penny when they left. Those who stayed had no income either. It was a harsh reality I had to accept. But now, I feel this new job here quite stable and good. Northern China is facing the most painful period for the national economy. Many SLEs are transforming from manufacturing to services. This includes Shenyang Machine Tool, China's leading manufacturer of machinery equipment. Chairman Guan Xiyou says his hardest experience was having to face 8,000 workers waiting for wages to support their families. Our company's success does not depend on how many people it has, but on how much creative strength. Without innovative capability, even if you cut all the staff, the company will not survive. The enterprises need core technology to compete with the world. We have gone through a painful process to realize institutional innovation. Through some 10 years of research, the company has launched its i5 series, the world's first integrated smart machine toolmaker. From being a traditional manufacturer, the company is transforming itself into an industrial service provider. Its products range from foam shells to various high precision parts, such as car components. Creativity enabled the transition from setting tools to setting services. Though they're still finding their way, they have already seen a ray of hope. From the government side, it should further loosen its control on the SOES and introduce creative management that suits the growth. Innovation is a kind of adventure. Inclusiveness is needed, too, to carry out some institutional reforms. Despite the economic slowdown, Shenyang's Xiaosan Robot has achieved a remarkable growth. Its products are now sold to nearly 30 countries around the world, and 80% of its staff is devoted to research and development. President Chu Daohui says Xiaosan will intensify efforts to go global as China's robot makers are making steady progress. He says the problems of northern China's SOEs are comprehensive. Companies need to abandon the old growth model. The revitalization of northern China's SOEs is not simply transforming state-owned into other forms of ownership or introducing a couple of talents. The key lies in creating an ecological platform of new industries in the future. Once a pillar of the economy, northern China's SOEs have been struggling with inefficiency while consuming significant amounts of resources. The government wants them to slim down and shape up. Although this cannot be accomplished, in a short term, many companies are battling to get back into fighting form. Intelligent robots are Xiaosan's key strength, and innovation is its biggest asset. Rejuvenation relies on incremental strength to create new industries, technologies, and products. China has more than 150,000 SOEs employing millions of people. Reform will be a gradual process. Time has washed away Jiang Feng's dreams as well as his memories. I only hope to earn more money, and I don't want to think about the city's future. At 60 years old,